Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple macro in Zendesk. Um, you may have watched my other video where I show you how to create a view um, for email for tickets that are awaiting a customer response that are in the pending status. So here, I'm going to create a macro to send them a reminder email that hey, we're waiting for your reply. Need more information? Do you have any questions for us? Something like that. So I'm going to title this uh, macro, send reminder to customer that you're waiting for a reply. Under actions, I'm going to set the subject, um, waiting for your reply, add another action to, um, we could set a tag, let's say reminder email sent um, I'll show you how to use tags later but um, in another video but um, for now you can just add a tag and I won't explain it too much more and then you want to add a comment or a description this is going to be the body of the email you can have different um, you can you can copy uh, the title of the so you can send her a reminder uh, hi and actually if we're gonna use their their first name here assignee no not assignee requester name first name copy that comma we haven't heard from you for a while Please let us know if you have any questions. And you can sense it, say something a little more than that, or um, I'm going to keep this really simple, just showing you how to create a very simple view. Um, you could you could add the title here regarding regarding your ticket. Um, and you just end it with thanks support or you could add your custom footer there so you can explore all the different placeholders you want to might want to add there um, somehow I lost that customer reminder email send Okay, there we go. And then once you're done, you just hit the create button and that'll create a macro for you. And in another video, I'll show you how to use a macro. I'm trying to keep these videos as short and simple as I can just to show you the basics of Zendesk, uh, at least the three most powerful features of macros, um, views, and automations in another video and triggers as well down here uh, I'm gonna create several videos just to show you the basics of what I've learned through with, with my short time um, creating a Zendesk uh, for uh, as a contractor for a company that I work for